So now let us find the surface area of a cycloid. We know that x is equal to a theta minus sin theta y is a1 minus theta, uh, cos theta. And from the previous, while finding the perimeter length, we have found the value of ds by d theta. So the formula for surface area is equal to ranges from 0 to 2 pi, 2 pi into y ds by d theta into d theta. So from 0 to 2 pi, 2 pi, we know the value of y is a1 minus cos theta and the value of ds by d theta is 2a sin theta by 2 and of d theta. So we can take 2 pi outside, this a comes outside and this 2a also comes outside into 2a. So integration from 0 to 2 pi, 1 minus cos theta can be written as 2 sin square theta by 2. So into sin theta by 2 d theta. So it comes 2, 2 is a 4, 4, 4 and 1, we have one more to where 8. So 8 pi a square from 0 to, now what we'll do is in the same way, if theta by 2 is equal to k then d theta is equal to 2 d k and this value will change from 0 to pi. So from 0 to pi sin square theta by 2 sin theta by 2, it becomes uh, sin cube k, we have to take 2 also d theta is 2 d k, no? so into 2 d k. So the value becomes 8 pi a square into 2 comes out and again we have, if we have, want to do it from 0 to pi by 2 we have to take one more to outside so 2 another 2 from 0 to pi by 2 sin cube k dk so 8 16 32 32 pi a square into since it is 3 now we will have to write 2 into nothing by 3 into 1 this much itself so our answer is 64 pi a square by 3 hence the surface area of a cycloid is given by the formula 64 pi a square by 3 units the volume of a cycloid dx by d theta is a 1 minus cos theta this we need and the volume of a cycloid is given by y v from 0 to 2 pi because the figure ranges from 0 to 2 this is the figure if you don't remember this is 2 pi and this is uh, 0 pi y square dx this can be written as uh, 0 to 2 pi pi y square dx by d theta into t theta so this becomes 0 to 2, 2 pi pi the value of y is a 1 minus cos theta so this whole square into dx by d theta the value of dx by d theta is a into 1 minus cos theta of d theta so we can take pi outside this is square so we can take a square also outside and here it is a so we can write pi into a square and a, a cube from 0 to 2 pi and 1 minus cos theta is already in previously we have found it is 2 sin square theta by 2 so whole square 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 just that much itself d theta so now this is uh, pi a cube into 2 square 4 just 2. Now from theta by 2 again we will replace the, if theta by 2 is equal to k d theta is equal to 2 dk and this value will change from 0 to pi. So it becomes 0 to pi sin square k whole square sin square k into 2 dk. So it becomes uh, 4 into 2 8 8 pi a cube and this 2 also we can take outside. 16 pi a cube now if you want to change this value from 0 to pi by 2 we can write another 2 outside 2 from 0 to pi by 2 sin 6 k d k so 32 pi a cube into since the power is 6 so we will 6 minus 1 5 5 minus 2 3 minus 2 1 6 4 2 
4 is even so we will have to write 5 by 2 at the end so it becomes 32 3 ones are 3 twos are 2 ones are 2 sixteens are 4 ones are 4 fours are 2 ones are 2 twos are so the value is this 2 this 2 will also get cancelled it is 5 pi a cube units 5 pi 5 pi a cube unit cubic cube because uh, it is in it is volume so this is the answer 5 pi units cube and this I have if you don't know this this I have done using the reduction formula reduction formula if for sin n theta 0 to pi by 2 it's like if the n is even it is uh, n minus 1 into n minus 3 into n minus 5 and so on by n into n minus 2 into n minus 4 and so on if it is even it ends with pi by 2 and if it is odd it does not end with pi by 2 that's it this is the formula so this is the answer for volume of a cycloid okay to sum it up cycloid is given by the equation x is equal to a theta minus sin theta y is equal to a 1 minus cos theta these are the parametric equations so dx by d theta is a 1 minus cos theta dy by d theta is a sin theta and the diagram of the cycloid is like this so it ranges from 0 to 2 pi afterwards again it repeats so it ranges from 0 to 2 pi this is the axis this is the x axis and area of a cycloid is given by the formula it ranges y dx is normal for all the equations and 0 to 2 pi because it is repeating from 0 to 2 pi and the answer is 3 pi square perimeter also same it ranges from 0 to 2 pi ds the answer is 80 units surface area also same it ranges from 0 to 2 pi so 0 to 2 pi 2 pi y dx 64 pi a square by 3 and volume also it ranges from 0 to 2 pi pi y square dx pi pi square a cube so this is the volume if you see while solving the uh, solutions for uh, asteroid also the formulas are same y dx ds 2 pi y dx and pi y square dx the only difference was it ranged from 0 to pi y 2 and here we had 4 here also it ranged from 0 to pi by 2 here we had 4 and in, in surface area it ranged so in surface area it was only from 0 to 2 2 into 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi by 2 2 y 2 pi y dx and here also it was 0 to pi by 2 and here it was 2 so hence that's it this is the solution for area perimeter surface area and volume of a cycloid thanks for watching subscribe to the channel for more videos like this that's it it's your guru signing off